we do M&E engineering, our expertise and focus has always been very much on operational energy. And we like to think of ourselves, I think we are very pioneering in that. And we, we know a lot of ways of reducing oper operational energy. Um, and we're very confident with that. Um, but when it comes to embodied carbon, it's something we really don't know very much about. And we feel like there isn't that much information for us as M&E designers as to how to deal with it. But on the other hand, we are designing very large pieces of kit to go into buildings, which use a lot of materials. And so, you know, we do want to find out more about how we can think about that aspect as well as the operational aspect. There's been a couple of things so far that have caught my attention. One of them was one of the speakers did mention that he'd been to a manufacturer of, I think it was fans or pumps, and they had had a lot of information about embodied carbon. So that's definitely one thing we can do is to start looking into that and finding out which manufacturers do do it. And, you know, if, if we start talking about that internally and the engineers start to know about that, then we can start specifying things that we know have low embodied carbon. So that's a really great thing to do. And it's also about advocacy. And we, we always, um, you know, we're, we're very often very lucky to get clients who are very interested um, in sustainability and in having a low energy building. And so, and we very often take on the role of discussing that with them and pushing different things that they can do. And so it's, it's also for us to, as just a member of the design team, keep reminding people what about embodied carbon? Can we do anything differently and encourage the structural engineers and the architects to think about it? Because it's, you know, when you're designing a building, there's so much to think about and it is just another thing. So if we can try and remember that as well, it just helps the whole design team. So that's another thing.